All right, walking into my local guitar center. Pick up my drum pedal. Now we're walking into the drum section and we're gonna get my pedal. It has been ordered from a different guitar center and it's been delivered to my local guitar center. So here we go. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna start doing a quick unveiling here. So I'll go over the details later why I got this pedal, but in the meantime, it's off to the hardware store. Cool, there it is. Right on. Okay. Off to the hardware store. Okay, we're in the hardware department. And I need one of these right here. Two feet. Two feet angle iron. Two feet, two feet angle iron. Right. Okay. We're going into the U bolt. Okay. Uh, two each. Okay, there she is, unpacked. A basic Ludwig 400 series, but you'll soon see why I chose this instead of something with a bigger cam on it. Because you're going to see how I'm going to reverse the cam in order to get the upstroke. Obviously, for the cocktail kit, we don't want to go beating into the head, we want it to come up. So, that's the next modification. So, I'll take the steps here to go about doing that on our way to the cocktail kit kick drum okay first thing I did was loosen the cam cam uh, screw from this end from the spring end I'm going to now remove these two uh, or loosen these up the uh, chain cam and the beater head cam and then I'm going to go in and if you'll notice here which you, this is what you want to have on all your, um, if you're going to do this, make sure you can remove these bearings with these Allen sets on both sides there. So I'm going to remove those, pull the cam um, shaft loose, reverse these two so they're actually on the other side so the chain will come up on the inner side now instead of being on the outside as well as the beater uh, shaft is going to be on the other side. So I'm going to proceed with that, take a look at it after I finish. Okay, so the beater uh, shaft's off, off the uh, swivel shaft. Same with the chain cam. So what I need to do now is this, this cam's got to ride opposite. So in order to do that, I've got to remove the uh, set screw and reverse this particular cam. Okay, so there you go. I've reversed the chain. Oop, can't see it very well. I've uh, reversed the chain, so now when it rides on the shaft, it's on the inside by the f uh, foot instead of on the outside where it was. So now when the shaft goes down, the beater is going to go up instead of in to the head because we want it to come up to the floor tom. Okay. Okay, I've got it somewhat the way I want it, but I'm gonna have to put it on the drum to actually check it out. But you could see the reverse, I'll try to get a little better light there. The 
reverse spring. You notice now it's, you have to play with it on the shaft here a little bit just to setting the, the uh, throw as to how you want it. But now she's moving up. The beater head's moving up, which will hit on the bottom side of my um, base uh, tom, floor tom. So now I'm just going to go in here and uh, tighten this bearing race up just a touch so I can take it over to my uh, drum and start setting up the height because I'll probably come back in here and redo the uh, setting on this, uh, the cam shafts and the beater head shaft. But in the meantime, that's all I'm doing for the time being. But that's the whole principle by reversing the spring. And that's why I got a, a cam that doesn't stick out too much because if you get the new types of cams, they stick way out here and your foot will be rubbing in against the chain. You don't want that. So there you go. Now it's going up. There you go. Okay, so there's the scene there. I've got it just so it sits on top of the angle plate on both sides. And then I'm going to come up with cushions. Um, I'll show you where I buy the cushions at and the deal to put under here for the uh, altitude running through the uh, base plate of the uh, pedal. So those cushions will uh, also be good for certain kinds of floors that you play on. But now I'll attach these simple, you'll see why the U-boats are going to come in handy here. Okay, just wanted to show you the final assembly. I ended up going with a foam piece in here on the uh, hoop attach point, which is not really necessary, but just threw a foam block in there. Remember it's attached sandwich between the uh, footboard itself and the upper chassis so it's not going anywhere and it's attached by the uh, in this particular Ludwig uh, arrangements these two Allen screws which you can cinch down quite easy and easily take it apart after the gig before uh, assemble it before the gig one other thing I just found some funky furniture pads and I put a pad on either end to match the altitude that I was going up uh, above the uh, footboard. So it sits flat on any surface. Good to go. Easy conversion. Okay, so there you go. Really quite simple, really. I have the U bolt attaching to the base and using the rubber as uh, the actual cushion to draw upon. And if you notice on this side, I just went with the nut on the inside with a lock nut just to keep it in permanent place uh, on the threading. And then for just quick, uh, for the gigs, just use a wing nut on the outer one with a lock nut. Tighten her down for the gig, loosen her up and pull your, pull your uh, leg right out and you're, you're good. You're good to go. So there you go. Yay, cocktail kit. All right, the old cocktail kit. Hi-hat, snare, throw a crash in there. Got a ride over here. And of course, the converted floor tom with the kick. Yeah, I'll probably put some moon gel on the skin, but I'm ready.